Again, this is my favorite segment of uh -huh. this show, <laughs> the mystery box. Kung siyempre mauna yung guest. Okay. Okay. <laughs> ano ba dala mo for me? So, what I brought is my first at in your jersey. So, this reminds me of you. You're one of the first people na inspired me actually to really go big and go you to play in UAP. So, this one, I credit talaga for you. Tahil, <laughs> John, akin na lang yan. <laughs> thank you, thank you again for, alam mo, choosing the Ateneo way. Wow, the Ateneo way. Yes. So, ako naman. You're a star. Oh, <laughs> oh di ba natawa siya? <laughs> Ang cute. <laughs> okay, why star? Kasi, I feel like, kayo talaga yung batch na nagbibigay ng liwa ng liwanag <laughs> liwanag ng ano hindi you guys are stars on your own way oh, yeah. you don't have to compare or be someone else you just have to be you and you're, you're and you're, you're gonna be your own star kasi ang grabe yung future nyo super bright din talaga like the stars ganda din ang future ng Philippine volleyball because of you guys and I hope dahil dyan meron pa ako syempre ba oh maging moon kayo, na lagi lang andyan. Di ba ang moon hindi nawawaw? <laughs> Nakikita natin yung mga players come and go, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, sana maging moon kayo sa full of stars na mga players na ito na kayo yung magsistay and kayo ang talaga magbibigay ng bright future for Philippine Volleyball. Wow. <laughs> Fate, di ko alam, sobrang dami ng layers ng pressure na binibigay din sa iyo ng mga tao mm -hmm. back then when you were in college from being the Buhotera, being one big fate, comparing mm -hmm. also you to your batchmates in different schools. Yeah. And then comparing you also to other players who played for Ateneo mm -hmm. na parang ngayon ko lang din alaman na parang nako-compare pala din tayo. So, yeah. I've never really had that opportunity also to go back to Ateneo those times din naman. Kasi parang, it's just a weird kasi nga siguro nagka-pandemic. Yeah. And then, so, during your time na nag-UAP, parang nakakanood lang ako ng mga few games kasi nasa, nasa, pro, nasa pro na din kami. <laughs> so, yeah. I, f I feel like, Parang hindi kami mga seniors nyo, hindi rin kami nakakabalik sa inyo. So, uh, we're very sorry also if we're, mm. you feel like we're, oh, not, we're so not there also for you guys. But, alam nyo, we're very, very proud of you girls. <laughs> Ang bigat! Di ko alam kung paano nyo na, na harap din yung mga ganon. You guys are very strong. Wow. And now, and you guys were able to still perform kahit ganun, ganun yung mga struggles, mm -hmm. obstacles na hinarap ninyo. So, hands down sa inyo. And sa lahat ng mga kabats nyo, yeah. there's one thing na learning mo sa, mm -hmm. sa Ateneo journey mo. Ano yun na na-apply na mo ngayon sa I think, pro career mo? Uh, I think the mentality na if you work hard, you'll win. Hindi kasi always true yun eh. Even though I put in extra work, hindi palaga reassurance yun na you'll win. So, it's just made me nga stronger as an athlete na believing na I'll get that, I'll get that chip one day. Yes. Just work. Winning is not only about getting the championship. Mm -hmm. When you work hard, when you work smart, I think that's winning already. Yeah. So, I guess, yung mga perspective na ganun, yun yung mga kailangan natin ibigay sa self din natin para magkaroon din tayo ng leeway to grow more and yeah. be more. As Ateneans, we have to be more all yeah. the time, diba? <laughs> so, yeah. So, you don't be too hard on yourself. Of course, naman. Yeah. yeah. You're very young. You've served the country. You've served your school. And now, you're in the pro. What else? What more? Ano pa yung gusto mong ma-achieve as, as fate na sparrows? Of course, uh, seeing... There are many Filipinos going overseas na rin. Aww. Gusto ko din sumunod someday sana na, yun nga, syempre, work hard muna and someday baka maabot ko din. When was your first time? Actually, back in 2014. I was 14 Aww. years old. So played for Philippines under 17 in Thailand. Doon ko na-realize na, oh, may ginito namang ibang 
you know, volleyball then yes. pala outside the country. I've always wanted to play for Japan talaga. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So different kasi. So I really want to adapt their style of play. It's more on speed talaga and talagang more on tactical sila. Yes. Very smart maglaro and I want to adapt that kasi I know na I have a strong body, I have a good conditioning program, but yun nga, I want to challenge myself more and more the smart play. Yung small details na yun could actually make a big difference. Yes. Yung mga gusto ko pa i-improve on myself naman. If you have uh, three wishes, ano yung yeah. gusto mong uh, marating pa ng Philippine Volleyball? I guess what I really want is maybe there's unity into trying to make Philippine Volleyball stronger, like the national team stronger. Like every one and everything Someday, sana mag-align, we could actually, you know, be at the same level as the international level. What level that is? I hope we could reach that through being one as here in the Philippine volleyball. And that's our wish. That's everybody's wish. And hopefully, mangyari yan. Yeah. I have one last question. If you have a dream teammate. <laughs> Who would that be? That would be you, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Iba pa rin na someone I idolize, someone I look up to, to be actually on the same court, lalo na um, representing the country. That would be one dream come true. That's something I've always wanted to ask is, do you always have that feeling of responsibility to like be someone we could all look up to. Oh, wow. That's a very heavy and loaded question. We were just so lucky that we have volleyball as pure, as simple as it is. Yeah. So, I didn't feel or I didn't feel to me that I have a responsibility to be someone I'm not. Yeah. yeah. So, it's just that I think at the end of the day, people will love you. People will like you. And people will support you, kung sino ka. Hopefully, sa journey natin, mm -hmm. happiness yung nahanap natin. Hindi lang tayo nagfo-focus dun sa end goals. Tsaka, at the end of the day, I super enjoyed, I, I still enjoy playing volleyball. Mm -hmm. I still find that feeling na, I wanna be better, mm -hmm. I wanna improve. You don't have to feel pressured also. Just let it all out. Mm -hmm. And... Just be the fate na sparrows that people will love to see. It's easier said than done. I would also feel like may mga times din naman na bakit di ko pa nagagawa to, bakit hindi ko nagagawa to. Pero at the end of the day, babalik ka lang, bakit mo ba ginagawa to? Because we love volleyball. Because we love the, our teammates. Mm -hmm. We love our coaches. We trust them. Yeah. And we want to play for them. So I guess... That's the most important thing na we have to always remind ourselves, why are we doing it? Why do we play? Why we play, di ba? Because we love the sport. Faith, maraming maraming salamat talaga. I really never thought na ganito, kailalim din yung magiging conversation natin. Uh, I never thought na yung mga pinagdadaanan nyo pala, your generation, ganito rin kabigat. Hopefully, we can be here also for you guys. Mm -hmm. And we're just one call away. Yes. If you need anything, <laughs> we'll see you on the other side of the court for now. And yeah. hopefully, we could be teammates soon. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Ate. Yeah. <laughs>